The suspect in a deadly hit and run from last Friday in Omaha faced a judge for the first time today. Investigators accused Mark Fleming of hitting a senior citizen crossing the street. KMTV Action 3 News senior reporter Jake Wazikowski has the latest. Jake. Craig in jail court this afternoon. Fleming is formally charged with a felony in connection to that fatal hit and run. Prosecutors say what he allegedly did afterward is also disturbing. Like, I will never forget the sound of his body hitting that car. Like, that stuff, that stuff sticks. A busy stretch of North 30th Street shut down by a site witnesses hoped was a dream. A man hit by a car sent flying through the air. I was crying a little bit just because I felt like I was hoping he was alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to see stuff like that is traumatizing. Police say 76 year old Roy Yeck was crossing 30th near Huntington when a vehicle hit him. Yek was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The vehicle fled, but witnesses gave police a description that led them to 44 year old Mark Fleming. He's charged with leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death. The fact that people called in in this case and told the police what they had observed with regard to the, uh, the hitting of this individual. Uh, is, is, is vital. Prosecutors say after Fleming left the scene, he went to a body shop to get his vehicle repaired right away. Police were called. Fleming turned himself in about five hours after the fatal crash. The defense says the suspected vehicle was identified by its make and color and not the license plate number, so they could have the wrong person. Klein says the actions after the crash show they've got the right guy. I certainly think that does. I mean, and, and trying to prevent anybody from discovering that by getting the car fixed. But the police were on top of it. They said they did a, a very good investigation, and, and obviously that led them to him. Fleming's bond was set at $75,000. He remains in the Douglas County Jail. If convicted, he faces 1 to 20 years in prison and could have his license revoked. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. The latest